Hey, Mr. Baldwin. Hey, Mr. Watt, how Hi. are you? You know what? We're talking about one of my very favorite subjects. Which would be? Mid-ocean ridges. Nice. I'm guessing they're in the middle of the ocean. Sometimes. Nice, okay. Sometimes they're on the edge of the ocean, which oh, okay. is an interesting one. But the original one that was first discovered in the Atlantic is in the middle, and that's how it got the name of Mid-Ocean Ridge. Gotcha. And I don't know about you, but a lot of times in class I call them MORs. Oh, yeah. Okay, Yeah, you cool. got it. So we've got a couple of learning targets here for you guys on this section. Take a look at those before you go on and listen to the rest of the video. Cool. So if you go. need to pause, pause, rewind, rewind, all that good stuff. And don't forget to take notes. Beautiful. Thank got you. It. All right, let's start. So we got these characteristics and the formation of them, okay? Mm -hmm. So here's kind of that really stereotypical mid-ocean ridge. It's in the middle of an ocean, right? Yeah, in this case. Yeah, in this case. Um, so what's happening down below? Remember in class when we did the demo for convection? Yeah. So we have to think about the convection cycles here. We've got the hot material mm -hmm. welling up. Okay. In this case, underneath the middle of an ocean. Okay. It's welling up just like it did in class when we had that hot material going. Mm -hmm. And when it gets to the top, it's spreading outwards. Yep. And as it does, it cools. And when it cools, it gets more dense, right? When it cools, it gets more dense. And then as it gets more dense, it's sinking back down because now it's cool. It's starting to heat up again. Yep. So when it heats up again, it comes back up again. Oh, it's like a big cycle. It's a big cycle. Cool. So realistically what's happening here is the material's coming up from the mantle, mm -hmm. some point in the mantle, Yeah. and it's coming up and it's making new crust. Oh, so and it's making rock. In this picture, yeah, it's making new ocean crust so or cool. ocean floor material. Okay. And as the new ocean floor material is made and more of it comes up from underneath, that material has to go somewhere. Okay. So it's getting pushed outward to the sides, okay. which is causing the ocean floor to spread open. Oh, okay. Essentially from the center in this picture. Okay. So you've got that ridge line. You want to grab the cursor and show yeah, the ridge line? this ridge line right yeah, here. Yeah, that ridge yeah. line where the newest, youngest, hot material is okay. forming, and it's pushing out towards the coastlines in this case. Okay. As the new material opens up that ocean. So if I was really good at swimming and I could dive down to the bottom of this, yeah. I can't, that wouldn't be that good. Um, as I moved along this plate, what would happen to the age then of the rock? So in the center where yeah. that convection current is coming up, uh -huh. that's the youngest material. Youngest, okay. And as you go away from that center, uh -huh. it becomes progressively older. Oh, I see, okay. So the in this case, the oldest part of the ocean floor would be along the land surfaces, and okay. the youngest part would be in the center at that mid-ocean ridge, or as we're going to call it in class, probably the spreading center. Perfect. Right? Cool. So this is what we're going to call seafloor spreading. Perfect. Right? Sounds good. Good. Okay. Next slide. Yep. Okay. So this is always happening, right? Yes. Okay. And we've got a great picture here on the bottom left that shows us the pattern of those seafloor spreading centers, uh -huh. or those mid-ocean ridges. Okay. And you'll notice they go down the middle of the Atlantic Ocean all the way from north of Greenland, uh -huh. all the way to the southern tip of South America and Africa. And this one they didn't find until World War II, right? That was the first one they found, and they found it in World War II. Okay. Yeah. And we're going to talk a lot about how they found it. Mm -hmm. By the ages, they found out paleomagnetism, which mm -hmm. we'll talk about a little bit in class. Yeah. But it's also interesting to look at the patterns. So look at the red lines mm -hmm. in the slide. That's the middle ocean ridge. But if you look at the Pacific Ocean, for example, oh yeah, that spreading center is not down the middle of the ocean. Mm -hmm. It's kind of on the side, yeah. It is, yeah. The side, the eastern portion, and the southern portion. Yeah. And then look at it in the Indian Ocean, because it continues over to the Indian Ocean. Oh, yeah, OK. But at any one of those spots, if you were to go diving down, so mm -hmm. this has been done. We use a submarine, one of them's named Alvin, Alvin to yeah. go down and take a look at what's there. There's lots of video if you want to hop out to YouTube and look at some video of that seafloor spreading going on. Mm -hmm. All along there, what's happening is the same thing. Hot magma coming up, mm -hmm. pouring out onto the ocean floor, mm -hmm and spreading out to the sides. Okay. Okay. And it says there's earthquakes here. Um, yeah. uh, earthquakes, it's just from friction building up and then the release of that pressure, basically, right? Well, and also, when the magma comes up, it's causing the rock to crack. Uh, okay, yeah. So it's causing the rock to crack at a shallow level, Okay. the upper portion of the crust, mm -hmm. and that's why the earthquakes are very shallow there. But they're also low magnitude. They're okay. not strong earthquakes because it's 
just smaller cracks that are forming that allow that magma to come up to the surface. And since it's happening all the time and it's relatively young rock, it's mm -hmm. pretty easy to break, yeah. right? Yeah. One really nice thing is the earthquake patterns also follow those mid-ocean ridge patterns. Oh, so like there's a bunch of earthquakes along this mid-ocean ridge in the Atlantic here? Yeah. Okay. So it gives us another line of evidence of where those plate boundaries, where those seafloor spreading locations are. Makes sense to me. Yeah. So another thing that's happening as that magma comes up, that hot magma comes up, and uh -huh. the rocks are still hot for some time, mm -hmm is that this thing called hydrothermal vents okay. are evolving. So you want to talk a little bit about this diagram? We can so, start in the top corner with number one there. Yeah, so we've got these cold water seeps, and they go down these little cracks in the rocks, right? Mm -hmm. And it's basically touching really hot rock at yes. some point, right? Yeah. Okay, and so these hot rocks nearby, they get shocked. Because mm -hmm. it's kind of like if you take hot glass and put it in cold water, it shocks, you break it. Right. Okay. So it cracks and it causes thousands of little earthquakes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you get all this shaking that takes place. Yeah. Okay, and then this water it starts to move its way through the cracks and it picks up heat from the magma mm -hmm. and it starts to really heat up because mm -hmm. it's just touching all this really warm rock. Yeah. And once it heats up, it's got to go up, right? Yeah, and as it's heating up, it's it's actually melting some of the rock or collecting mm -hmm. ions. Yeah from some of that rock and it's picking up a lot of really valuable ions so oh, we're going to talk yeah. about hydrothermal vents when we talk about minerals mm -hmm. and economically valuable minerals but we're finding deposits of really valuable things like copper and rare earth elements oh. and other kinds of things that we need as a society to create some of the materials that we're making now. Yeah, so it's not like pure water that's coming out of it. It's actually very valuable water. Very valuable water. Okay. So yeah. once that water comes back up, mm -hmm. It's hot water coming out of these cracks in the ocean floor, mm -hmm. and when it comes out, you can actually see these what they call black smokers. Oh, cool, yeah. So it looks like smoke out of a chimney, but yeah. it's actually going up into the water column. Oh, okay. And because the ocean water there tends to be cold, mm -hmm. and this hot water is coming out, you're getting deposition into what they what looks like a chimney okay off the ocean floor so those are the hydrothermal vents or the black smokers cool and yeah. they find these at the ridges they find these all along the ridges oh yes. my gosh cool yeah. yeah very cool and that's it that's it for oh that we don't section. even have to tell you to go to your uh, class website well right. go to your class website uh take a quiz yep and then uh be ready to talk about it in class tomorrow sounds good cool have a right. good one bye guys